If you want to quickly unlock all the best schematics in the game and fill your stash with the best loot, then keep watching this video. Let's try and glitch 100 likes on this video to help my channel grow, and be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on to stay up to date on all Modern Warfare 3 glitches. Also, feel free to join our Discord linked in the description if you need any zombie help. To get good loot, you can do the vault glitch, and you can check out the video in the description showing you how to do it. You can also get loot by completing contracts and completing story missions. You can use the loot right away or save it by adding it to your stash. You can also duplicate any loot you find, and I'll show you the easiest way to do it. To start, grab the biggest backpack you can find and put all the best loot inside of it. Then complete a contract to get essence and then go buy the gemstone perk. I'll show you two methods you can use to duplicate items. The solo method requires a bloodburner bike and the co-op method only requires a friend. If you're solo, bring a bloodburner bike to this location so you can do the teleport glitch. Make sure you drink the tombstone perk and make sure your backpack has all the items you want to duplicate. Then drive the bike onto the water and stay on the water all the way until the red zone. Park the bike where I do and then go activate the story portal. Once the portal is activated, return to the bike and back it out onto the water. Then get off the bike and quickly get back onto it to teleport near the out of bounds. Now vote yes and then run into the out of bounds when the big timer hits 6. You will be eliminated and you will set up a tombstone with all the items inside your backpack. You can do this on a team, but all players will need to be eliminated at the same time or the glitch won't work. Normally you would close the game after being eliminated, but this time we want to add the story mission loot to our tombstone, so we need to complete the whole mission to get a reward. This is a tier 2 mission, so if you have a tier 3 gun, then you will have no issues beating it. Locating all the spores in the mall is the only annoying part and shouldn't take you too long. The chests in the mall might have worthwhile loot, but I've never had much luck with them. The boss is not very hard to beat, but make sure you stay on the move. And my favorite weapon for this mission is the RGL with the slug ammo type. Just focus fire on the boss until he dies. The loot you get will always be random, but you'll always find at least one reward worth adding to your tombstone. And for me, I love the mags of holding. Keep all the loot you find inside your backpack so you can add the new items to your tombstone in the next match. You can farm more XP before you leave if you wish, and once you're ready, go through the portal. You will need to sit through a cutscene every time you do this mission, but it's worth it since you can keep all the same loot game after game. When you head into the next match, you will see a tombstone waiting for you at the church. Just replace the bad loot with the better loot you find until your backpack is full of the best stuff. People in our Discord might be able to help you with this glitch, so feel free to join it in the description. You can also go into the Dark Ethers to complete contracts and gain schematics, and to do this glitch you will need a friend's help. Complete contracts to get a sigil, and then give the sigil to a friend. Then your friend will want to drop any essence they have for you to stick into your tombstone. Now the player with the essence will buy the tombstone perk since the other player will not be setting up a tombstone. The tombstone player will then need to wait near the out of bounds with the essence and items ready to be duplicated. The friend can now activate any dark ether portal and then vote yes. Now you can vote yes and then quickly leave the squad and then run into the out of bounds when the big timer hits 6. This may seem a bit complicated at first, but it gets much easier once you actually try it. This method of the tombstone glitch works to stockpile essence, and you can even use it going into the unstable rift. And make sure you check out the solo tombstone glitch in the description. Your friend won't have a tombstone, but they don't need one since you can just duplicate items for them too. And you can check the description for a video showing that glitch. You can add all this new loot to your tombstone if you wish, and once you're done farming contracts, then just exfil. If you don't want to dupe items, then no problem, just use this trick to fill up your stash a bit quicker. Hopefully this glitch won't be patched when Season 5 Reloaded drops, and hopefully this video has helped you guys out. If you actually made it this far, then say the secret word ice hot in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!